just kind of say um, we've been there and we know what it takes. So the moment is never too big for us just because we've been in similar situations um, like we're going through this year. So just taking it um, day by day and just treating it like uh, the first game of the season. Um, I feel like, I mean, similar to me, I didn't play much that year just because I was a redshirt freshman, and I'm sure a lot of guys they had um, that played were redshirt freshmen or were getting significant snaps or weren't. But um, I'm sure they carry a little bit burden, but um, not too much just because the whole coaching staff changed and everything like that. I feel like the media is going to try to make that the rhetoric this week, but um, and I understand that. But going forward, we just have to understand that they're a new pro program, they have new players, and um, I mean, they're a good team, and we're a good team, and this is what championship football is all about, just going out and competing. It's awesome, you know. Um, no one expected us to get as far as we are um, right now, and that's just a compliment to our team because we didn't get we didn't get that memo. And I'm just really proud of our guys and how we responded, and um, just proving everyone wrong. Um, like I said, we weren't expected to make it this far, so just going out every day and just not worried about the outside sources and just playing the best ball we can. It's great a big part of Miami's game. How are you all as a defense trying to neutralize that? Um, just playing sound, um, playing honest, you know, they like to do a lot of stuff and they're really good at, um, at the screen game. So just being disciplined and just executing the call that our coaches put us in. Have you seen them enough? And again, you didn't know you were coming this week, you were playing them in the past week, but maybe in time you were watching football. Have you seen Miami, is there anything you would call this year that when you watch them, maybe you jumped down and you were watching their offense? Um, I mean, they're kind of similar to our offense. You know, they're fast, they have, um, Long receivers. They have um, Braxton Berrios is a really good slot receiver. You know that's going to be a challenge. And um, I mean, the quarterback is athletic. He can run. He can pass. So I mean, I'm really just looking forward to the opportunity. They're a good team, and we're good teams. So I'm excited for the matchup. Uh, this is a nameless, faceless opponent. Um, at the end of the day, we're playing Clemson. If we don't lose to Clemson, we should be all right. Can you guys play any more loose in these elimination games? Because you've got your ring. You, you guys have got to enjoy the championship game experience. Can you play any more loose going, OK, if, if we lose, we, we, we still have some, some good history to celebrate? Um, I mean, obviously, that's not our motive going forward, just because we are we just want to be the best, you know, um, week in and week out. So I feel like that would be settling and selling ourselves short of our potential and what we have the chance to do. So um, I don't think that's the mindset for any of our guys just because um, we want to leave a legacy and um, part of that is living a legacy. So just how we come in each day and practice and prepare um, is a compliment to how we play on Saturdays. I know you play against Miami's offense, but how do you go about blocking out some of the extra stuff that their defense does, like with the turnover chain and all the and stuff that's around them. Just um, block all that stuff out. I mean, just like um, we did last week against South Carolina when they were throwing stuff on the field for our offense. You know, we can't really pay attention to outside sources and um, things that don't affect us as a defense. You know, um, probably a little more challenge, challenging for the offense just because um, it's kind of a mental game. But um, I'm confident we have a very mentally strong team, and I don't think it will get to us too much. No, not necessarily. I mean, I understand why they do the whole chain thing. I mean, it's the you, you know, and everything that comes with it. I mean, and I mean, I think it's pretty cool because just because that's the flash of the program. And I mean, so be it. Teacher zone. I mean, for us, we don't necessarily have that just because it's Clemson, and you know, we don't really uh, necessarily look look forward to getting recognition like that as far as creating a turnover. But just celebrating with your teammates and just understanding that us getting a turnover helps our offense and helps our team put us in the best position to win. So um, that's about it. Jordan, you've been matched up against the team slot receiver a couple times, notably Greg George and Wake Forest. But what kind of challenge does Barrios present to you? Um, he's physical. I mean, he's strong. Um, he's quick. So I just have to be disciplined in my technique, 
you know, um, just, like I said, it's another matchup and a chance for me to showcase my skill set. And uh, I mean, he's a great player, so I'm just really looking forward to that. It's definitely winner go home. Um, just Miami, um, they're a good team, and if you know we lose to them, then especially with everything else going on in the CFP, um, just in my opinion, it's winner go home. That's my mindset, and I think that's the team's mindset. It's awesome, you know, just because early on in the season there was a lot of question marks about that. Like, why are these guys getting reps this early on in the season, this, that, and the other? And I sat here and said, you know, later on in the season, we're going to need that depth to show up. And sure enough, it did. And I'm just really happy to how those guys responded just because, you know, they knew that this time was going to potentially happen. And the fact that, you know, Jamie's came in and led the team two weeks in a row with tackles and him not being the starter is just a compliment to how well he's prepared and how much he's developed over the season. Uh, not too much, just a little bit. Um, at the end of the day, the best team in college football doesn't always win. And, um, you know, you have to show up every week and you can't um, underestimate an opponent because as you can see, you know, um, there's losses all over the, all over college football. So, um, I mean, and, you know, we can't say too much of it because we lost to Syracuse, you know, so it, happen it can happen to anybody. So just understanding that and just being honest with the game, I think is the best way to avoid that. Um, I think the biggest question for us was just leadership, who's going to lead, who's going to step up and, you know, take, take it, take things into their own hands. And um, I think as soon as we met after the national championship and going into winter workouts, guys really had to reevaluate who they wanted to be as a team and who they wanted to be as an individual on the team as far as leading. And um, I think we did a good job of guys stepping into those roles and um, everyone following and uh, guys leading by example.